Chapter 4, Understanding the Congregation In the journey of pastoral ministry, delving deep into the lifeblood of the church, the congregation is foundational. This chapter places a magnifying glass on the varied and vibrant dynamics of church life, bringing into focus the beautiful tapestry of faith, hope, and love that defines our spiritual family. As pastors, we're tasked with not just leading but also comprehending the intricate web of relationships, beliefs, and aspirations that animate our community. The Apostle Paul, in his letter to the Corinthians, reminds us, Now ye are the body of Christ, and members in particular, one core. 1227, this biblical truth underscores the diversity within unity, a concept vital for pastors to grasp. It's about recognizing each member's unique contributions while guiding the congregation towards a common vision. Building a community of faith, therefore, isn't merely about gathering numbers, it's about nurturing a family that grows together in Christ. As we explore the dynamics of church life, we're encouraged to foster an environment where every believer feels valued, understood, and connected, thus paving the way for a resilient and vibrant community of faith. The Dynamics of Church Life in examining the intricacies of church life, one finds a vibrant tapestry interwoven with manifold threads of faith, fellowship, and service. At the core of understanding the congregation is acknowledging the church not just as a gathering, but as a living organism, evolving and adapting under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. As Paul illustrates in 1 Corinthians 12 verse 12, For as the body is one, and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. This analogy underscores the diversity and unity within the church, highlighting the importance of each member's unique contribution to the body of Christ. A pastor, in navigating the dynamics of church life, must therefore foster an environment where this unity and diversity flourishes, encouraging the spiritual growth and engagement of all members. Equipping the saints for the work of ministry, as delineated in Ephesians 4 verse 12, becomes a cardinal mission, ensuring that the church operates not merely as an assembly of attendees but as a community actively demonstrating God's love and grace in every facet of life. In doing so, church life transcends the confines of Sunday services to embody a dynamic, ongoing testament to the transformative power of the gospel. Building a community of faith within the tapestry of church life, the creation of a vibrant, supportive community of faith stands out as one of the noblest objectives a pastor can strive toward. This endeavor is not merely about encouraging regular attendance, it's about fostering a sense of belonging, where every individual feels valued and connected. Building such a community requires intentionality and a deep understanding of the spiritual and relational dynamics at play. The New Testament Church, as depicted in the Acts of the Apostles, serves as a profound model for us. And they, continuing daily with one accord in the temple, and breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, Acts 2 verse 46. This scripture highlights the early Christians' commitment to fellowship, unity, and the sharing of their lives with one another. These elements are foundational when cultivating a community of faith. A pastor's role in this process is pivotal. By exemplifying Christ-like love and serving others, pastors can set a tone for the entire community. Leading by example, they encourage the congregation to also engage in acts of service and love. This demonstration of faith in action helps to knit the community closer together, creating a network of support and care. In fostering this sense of community, it's crucial for pastors to instill the value of inclusivity. In Galatians, Paul writes, There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus, Galatians 3 verse 28. This powerful message underscores the importance of embracing diversity within the church, breaking down barriers that might separate or divide the congregation. Effective communication also plays a critical role in building a faith community. Pastors must be adept at sharing the vision for the community in ways that inspire and motivate. Through sermons, teachings, and personal conversations, pastors can articulate the importance of living life together as believers, emphasizing how shared faith brings unity and strength. Another vital aspect of community building is the creation of small groups or ministries within the church. These smaller subsets allow for deeper relationships to form, offering more intimate settings for individuals to share their struggles, successes, and spiritual journeys. It's in these spaces that individuals often feel most seen and supported. Pastors should also encourage the practice of hospitality within the community. Use hospitality one to another without grudging, 
1 Peter 4 verse 9. This practice goes beyond mere social gatherings, it's about opening our hearts and homes to others, manifesting the love of Christ in tangible, life-affirming ways. Hospitality fosters a sense of family and belonging, key components of a strong faith community. Engaging in communal worship is yet another cornerstone of building a faith-based community. Worship unites believers in a profound expression of love and adoration for God. It serves as a powerful reminder of the community's shared beliefs and values, reinforcing the bonds between its members. It's also essential for pastors to facilitate opportunities for the community to serve together. Mission trips, local outreach efforts, or church-based service projects can all reinforce the community's unity and purpose. Through serving, individuals can experience the joy of being part of something larger than themselves, which in turn strengthens their commitment to the community. Pastors must remember the power of prayer in building a community of faith. Pray without ceasing, 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 17. By prioritizing corporate and individual prayer, pastors can encourage a culture where reliance on God is central. Prayer binds the community together, drawing them closer to each other and to God. Creating a community of faith also means providing pastoral care that meets the diverse needs of the congregation. By being present in times of crisis and celebration, pastors can demonstrate the love and compassion of Jesus, reinforcing the sense of community among church members. Moreover, encouraging the sharing of testimonies within the community can be incredibly powerful. Hearing how God is at work in the lives of others can inspire faith and prompt individuals to reflect on their spiritual journey. Testimonies can serve as a source of encouragement, building faith, and fostering unity. Furthermore, Pastors must be intentional about discipleship, guiding believers in their spiritual growth and helping them find their place within the community. Through discipleship, individuals not only deepen their faith but also discover how their unique gifts can serve the wider community. Lastly, it's important for pastors to model and encourage resilience in the face of challenges. Building a community of faith doesn't come without its trials. Yet, by standing firm in faith and leaning on one another, a church can navigate any storm. As Paul writes, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed, we are perplexed, but not in despair, 2 Corinthians 4 verse 8. In summary, building a community of faith is a multifaceted endeavor that demands dedication, compassion, and a heart aligned with God's vision for His people. By fostering unity, practicing inclusivity, encouraging service, and prioritizing spiritual growth, Pastors can cultivate thriving communities that reflect the love and grace of Jesus Christ.